Some of Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 jets are returning to the skies today, three weeks after a door panel blew off of one of the planes mid-flight. After that incident, the FAA temporarily grounded about 170 MAX 9 planes nationwide for safety inspections. Alaska and United Airlines are the only two U.S. airlines that use them. Both airlines found many of the grounded jets also had loose hardware, such as bolts that needed additional tightening. Joining us now is Jeff Wise. He's an aviation journalist and co-host of the Deep Dive MH370 podcast. Jeff, good to have you. So let's talk about these inspections because they turned up problems with hardware on other Boeing 737 MAX 9 jets. Where do we go from here in terms of airline safety? And are there calls for a wider review of Boeing planes or is it really something that is specific to the MAX 9s? I think it's important to understand that this is not a problem just about MAX 9 door plugs, right? This is obviously symptomatic of something deeper, partly a massive reputational hit for Boeing. Mm -hmm. um, these planes have been grounded. Um, as you say, Alaska is returning some of its planes to the air today. United has said it will be returning some of its planes on Monday. But there's a long road ahead as Boeing tries to reassure the public that these planes are safe to fly. Yeah. So what are Boeing and these airlines doing to try and reassure passengers who have safety concerns? Well, there's only so much that they can do, frankly. I mean, these, these planes have been in the news since 2018 uh, when we had a pair of massive fatal crashes that did so much to undermine Boeing's reputation as a safe aircraft manufacturer. Um, at the time, uh, Boeing faced felony fraud charges from the uh, Department of Justice. It settled for $2.5 billion. There was the expectation that they would be behaving themselves in the wake of that. Uh, clearly, that does not seem to be the case. Well, Jeff, yesterday Boeing did this stop down where they put a halt to all of their assembly lines and focused on safety. And uh, I'm just wondering, what did that actually accomplish? Or was that really more of a PR move? Uh, that's the first part of it. And then the other part of it is, if there's already problems with planes, um, how, how safe are these planes? Because we know that the MAX 9s have just gone under inspection. But as you detail, their problems might be more widespread. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to your first question, right, a one-day work stoppage to get everyone to attend a meeting and pay, you know, try to center their thoughts, uh, you know, can only do so much. What we have is a massive systemic problem. You know, the hard part about making a plane like this isn't designing it, although that's certainly a feat. It's putting all of these pieces together safely, all the human beings, all the systems that have to come together in the right way, in the right order, without any goof-ups. That's clearly what hasn't happened here. And, you know, one door popped out of one plane. That indicated that something more serious was happening. So they, they, they grounded these planes. They looked. And sure enough, it turned out that similar problems existed on a whole bunch of other planes as well, which raises the question, well, what other problems exist on this plane? What problems exist on, on other kinds of aircraft that they make? Going forward, there's going to have to be systemic changes in how these planes are built, how they're inspected. And frankly, we're going to have to see leadership changes at Boeing. Mm, all right. Jeff Wise, thank you. Thank you.